Well, most people who live outside San Diego envy the beautiful weather that we enjoy year-round. Still, though, some experts say climate change is affecting our region in ways that will alter the way we live. Lauren Ancaro has more in the first part of his series on climate change. In the past 100 years, San Diego County's population has grown 100 times, from 35,000 to 3.5 million. Views like this make it easy to understand why. This is a beautiful place to call home, and the climate is without compare. Even in November, the weather is mild and inviting. It's hard to imagine that climate change can affect the quality of life here in San Diego, but the evidence is mounting, and the research contained in these pages highlights the challenges we face with just a few added degrees of warmth. The local nonprofit, the San Diego Foundation, has compiled the work of the region's brightest minds to assess life 40 years from now in a warmer San Diego. People like Dr. Dan Cahan, a climate scientist with Scripps Institution of Oceanography. The balance of evidence overwhelmingly is that climate is warming around the globe and, and there's all sorts of impacts. And the thing is that if the models are even close to right, uh, close to being correct, uh, climate warming is, is, is going to increase more rapidly in the future. The report looks at the following areas of impact. Our coastline and how it will change with the sea level up to a foot higher than today. The fresh water supply, already tenuous and made even more so by potential changes in rainfall and snowpack. Wildfires, which may be larger and more frequent. Ecosystems, already challenged by human development and pushed to the brink by the climate. Public health, diminished by longer heat waves and exotic pests. And reliable electrical power supplies for the larger population in a warmer climate. Uh, the very first item was to, um, was to create the awareness, to demy demystify the subject, to make the impacts quite clear and so that uh, so that good climate action planning could take place and that we would be prepared to help in any way that we could help spur those efforts. In the nights to come I'll highlight what researchers conclude after looking at the climate today and adding as little as four degrees to the average temperatures in 2050. The good news is while the results are somewhat alarming there's a lot that we can and should do now. First of all, I would highly recommend that everybody read this report to better understand what are the implications of climate change for our region. In 2050, scenes like this one may be commonplace as the ocean chips away at coastal bluffs. Tomorrow, I'll show you which coastal areas are most at risk. Lauren Nancaro, 10 News. For more information on the San Diego Foundation report, log on to our website, 10news.com, and click on the red TV button.